Hey guys, this is InformalGadget.com and today I'm going to show you guys a neat little application here that I found and what it does is it allows you to play Android apps and games and anything you could find in the Google App Store on your Macintosh or Windows computer. The application is called BlueStacks and it's actually been around for Windows for a little bit but it's just been released for Macintosh. They've both, they're both still in beta as you can see here on their main website but they work very well and I'll show you guys how it's, how it's used. But this is really good if you don't have uh, an Android device and you want to try out a game or an application from the Android store, from the Google Play Store, and you don't have the Android device, you could just use BlueStacks and you could download uh, the application and, and use it just like if you were on an Android device. Also, this is good if you say you do already have an Android device and a Google Play account. You could actually use their Cloud Connect that's part of the BlueStacks application. You enter your phone number and you could actually sync all the games and all the applications that you already have on your Android device onto your computer, whether it's Windows or Macintosh. So in order to download the BlueStacks application, you have to go to BlueStacks.com and it'll take you to this main page here. Then you could just choose which one you want to download, if you want to download for Mac or for Windows, and you click on it, download the free application. Once it's downloaded and installed, you'll see here that I already have, have the BlueStacks app downloaded. There's the BlueStacks symbol, and go ahead and open it. Here it is open, and when you have it open, you, at the top here you have all these options. The first option is the My App section and this will show you what you already have installed. So as you can see, I already installed Angry Birds and it came pre-installed with the App Search, the Facebook, the Twitter, and the Pulse. I also just downloaded the free uh, Fruit Ninja application. It'll show you whatever you have installed and then it goes into different categories here. So like you'll have your top 25 applications to choose from and you could just click on any one of them and install it. You could also do the, um, you also have like a game section, fashion, photos, music, where you see Pandora and SoundHound and all that, messaging, news, tools, and if you don't find the application that you want, you could actually go to search, and you could search for anything that you want. Like earlier, I searched for Angry Birds, and you see right there that Angry Birds pops up. It'll do a quick little search, and it'll find the applications that you uh, search for. So like in this case, uh, it says Angry Birds Star Wars. If I hit install, it'll search through all the Google app stores uh, and there's your, all your options. So if you have Google Play, you could download it from the Google Play Store. Or if you have the Amazon uh, uh, account, you could download it from there. Or you could even download it from one of these uh, other Android stores. Once you have it installed, you could go back to the my apps you'll see that you have it installed right here I could go ahead and open up Fruit Ninja and I could actually play on my Macintosh computer Fruit Ninja that I normally wouldn't be able to play because there's no other way to play Fruit Ninja unless you're on your Android device and I'm just using my trackpad and I could use it just like if I was touching the screen of the phone. Uh, so there you go. So there's that. Once you're done playing or using the application you want to use, you could hit the home button and it'll take you back to the beginning here and you can go back to whatever application you want to go to next. Now there isn't that other option uh, under settings. You have other options here. The first option here is the Cloud Connect that I was talking about earlier. And it'll ask you if you have an Android device. You hit yes, and then you could put in your email address and your uh, phone number, and you could register. And it'll send you an email, and you just connect, and you will be able to sync all your applications from your Google Play account onto your um, BlueStacks application to have them all there. You could also change the language, the keyboard settings, the date and time. You can manage your accounts, your contacts, uh, your applications here. This is also a good one. You could delete applications um, and change the, the app size. So you could actually change it from tablet to default for when you search. And you could actually delete. Like if I want to delete the Facebook application, 
I can delete, hit continue, and you can see that red line going across. If I go back here to my main page, I just deleted Facebook from my apps, um, Bluestack. Um, so there you go, it's just basically a little rundown of uh, the Bluestacks app player, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's pretty great that you could play Android games on your Macintosh or Windows computer. I like it, I think I'm gonna use it to test out different applications. Let me know if you use this application already, uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, or if this tip helped you, if uh, this little tip helped you. Oh, another thing too, right here, if you see it on your Mac, you could click on the little stack symbol and you could check for updates, restart, quit from right here also. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the new Bluestacks application and don't forget to visit informalgadget.com.